profile of the neck is roughed out. I've got the taper marked where the original fretboard is going to sit. So now I'm going to use the table saw to cut out where the neck meets the body and then the, the tenon itself. Fortunately with this one it's just a 90 degree angle. There's no no angle of the neck to the body like on most guitars where it's a couple of degrees. So I can just use the miter fence and cut straight across. So that hopefully means it'll be an easier fit. So I've got this piece of wood clamped in here as a, a stopping point so that both sides of the cut are exactly the same, the same distance. So that's where the the neck to body joint will be. The tape was to prevent tear out of the mahogany. So now I'll cut the border of the tenon on the table saw and then we'll start fitting the neck to the body. So here we are. The, the tenon is cut into the neck and fits very nicely into the body. Um, when we took off the fretboard, we left a little bit of soundboard on it. I'd like to say it was intentional, but it works to our advantage because then we can stick the fretboard exactly where it's supposed to be on the body. I can't do this while it's on its side, but uh, anyway, we've checked everything and we know that the, the neck and the fretboard line up where they're supposed to be down at the bridge. So what we're going to do now is cut away some of the extra material on the neck and the heel and then we can shape the heel and uh, it'll be that end of it will be ready for gluing back to the body. We're not going to do that today because we want to make the peg head before we um, glue it on. It's just a lot more hassle if we're drilling tuner holes and stuff, right, with the neck and the body attached. But great progress. Okay, all right. <laughs> Just in the nick of time, we remembered that we had to cut a truss rod channel. Um, so, did that on the table saw. And now, that's all set. And we're going to glue on the peg head veneer. And then, after the glue dries, we can shape the peg head, drill the tune or something. So here's the new peg head, here's the old peg head, let's 
that's left of it. Um, pretty identical shapes. So now on to refining the heel and then we can attach the neck to the body. Here's the heel um, shaped pretty close to the original and it's cut off a little shorter because this is going to have a heel cap on it now. The original neck was put on the body after finishing and didn't have any heel cap. And the peg head's ready to go. Got the truss rod access cut. So we're ready to glue the neck to the body. So with this mortise and tenon, because it's going to get pinned, this glue is, is really more of a placeholder, I think, than doing real structural stuff. Yeah, more like a clamp than it is actual yeah, exactly. permanent it's, adhesion. I, years ago I had uh, one of these mortise and tenon joints that I mocked up and drilled some holes for the dowels and even without glue you, just, you couldn't budge it. Right. It's just solid. So that's going to hold like that. Side, but uh, we lost some material on this side, maybe. I'm not sure. I guess I'd rather have the neck a little bit lower than the body, mm -hmm. as opposed to a little higher, because we can we can sand that down a little bit. Right. Okay, so that goes like that. And we put the first clamp. Can't tell where the heel block is down there. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So that one goes right at the bottom of the heel. And then higher up. Because I want to be able to pull it. Right down. Of course, we'll try not to hit you in the face with these. These are just something for the bar to, to grab on to. Yeah. Right. the whole setup. We'll let this dry and then put the dowels in it to lock it in place forever. <laughs> 